All right, everyone, today we're gonna practice how to mind map or brainstorm for our writing. First, we're gonna start with the prompt or the main part of the topic. So I am going to use our letter from the past as an example. Next, we're gonna think about the big events that we can identify. This is gonna help me think about what I already know, what big information I already have. So I know about the Little Rock Nine and the bus boycott. Next, I'm gonna to start to add details about these events. So I know about the harassment that the Little Rock Nine faced on their way to school. I also, doesn't have, to be pretty just has to include all my information. I also know that they walk together so that they could feel more secure and that the government was not on their side. Now I'm gonna add the emotions or connections that I can make to this information, how they probably felt or how I felt reading it. So I know if I was being harassed by people every day on my way to school or work, I would feel so scared. I would feel terrified, but also probably be confused, especially if I was a kid and knew that I had done nothing wrong. And once I found out, I would probably feel really angry. The job of this mind map is to help us generate ideas so we can come to our writing in a stronger place. 